Hey everyone, Fred is out and luckily we have some translators around for a should you summon video and uh, yeah, we'll get right into it. So obviously what you're seeing on the screen is going to be the step up banner. Again, another character with a step up banner seems to be the normal nowadays where every character is just going to have the default step up banner unless it's like a special event, special occasion. So yeah, we'll get into it. Um, default step up banner, you know, nothing too serious. You get the first free awakening from the three multis, as well as one of them being half off, as well as one guaranteeing the memory, as well as it having an increased chance for Fred herself at the very end of it. And obviously it's going to be a run one rotation only, as per usual, I don't think. Uh, it's, it's hard to tell. I don't know if they would ever like announce that like a, a rotation or that a banner was going to be multiple rotations. I don't know how they would do that, but I'm pretty sure it's just one rotation. So. After you do the full rotation, you'll just go ahead and have only this banner on your screen. It'll look something like this, but for now, you have both. Looking into what she does, we're gonna switch over to display capture. We'll go over her character first. I was a little, looking over her a little bit. First at max level, obviously, starting with skill one basic. Physically attacks single enemy 400% power and 100% chance to inflict recovery seal for two turns. Also, restore 5% of maximum HP for all allies. Um, you know, I, I think this is a solid basic attack, but just like the more play, the more I play the game, it's just like the more basic attacks almost feel like just so useless because how rarely they they get, you know, used nowadays unless you're fighting like Echidna, like Christmas Echidna or anything like that. You know, most of the time, we even have, like, a full buff in the game now where it just allows you to use as many skills as you want. So, I don't know. I, I feel like basic attacks are becoming way less relevant in the game, like, as a core mechanic in general. So, I don't know how, you know, basic... I'm going to be looking at basics going forward, but it is what it is. It's, it's okay. Recovery seals, kind of whatever, because you can just always just get rid of it. You know, debuffs are kind of whatever. It's basically whoever has the more buffs and whoever has the better buffs. It, it's not a game about stopping your enemy. It's a, it's a game about beating your enemy before they can get there. So it, just being faster, it is what it is. Skill two, uh, she has a passive. Green allies will always have seventy percent more HP and fifty percent more defense. Pretty solid for greens. Uh, when a green ally is attacked, store ten percent of maximum HP for that ally. That's really nice. That's pretty solid. That is strong. I like that. At the start of battle, give self debuff immunity for one turn. Give all allies de Is that large defense? It just looks like normal. Yeah, just normal defense for two turns. In addition, give all green allies that have their defense 3,000 or more during battle. Uh, was that protection for two turns? Nice. She has some solid utility support-wise. Like she, She's really one of the best green supports, I would say. It's been a while since I looked at the green characters, but if you're running a green team, I really like the con like this just blows me away. Green allies, will, oh not this, sorry. Green allies, when the green ally is attacked, we start 10% maximum HP for that ally. Like that's just that's something you would see on a tank character, but to have that on a on one character and apply to the rest of the team, that's really nice, especially with multiple tanks. Uh, you, you can also apply this with other passives you can apply this with other memories memories for sure do this so if you have some memories that you can use and utilize you can get be getting a lot of healing on hit uh this can potentially be really big for people that still use kimono Krush. you know she's kind of old but her counter is just very strong and if you can build her tanky as well as you know having the sustain it's she can hit and be kind of a menace so I really like the idea of this just alone and if in, even if it doesn't pan out for the green team essentially I would love to see this like on more units in the game I really like that idea so uh, then we have her skill 3 physically attacks all enemies for four times with <laughs> I usually don't even go over cooldowns because it just doesn't matter anymore uh, physically attacks all enemies four times with 300% power each hit has a 50% 50% chance to reduce the enemy's action gauge by 15% per hit and to increase their cooldowns by one turn. I'm assuming the cooldowns by one turn is also per hit. That's This is just insane because I think we know that it's per hit. I don't think they specifically worded it like this. I think that uh, Rep, the translator, just made sure to clarify it. Um, but yeah, per hit. 
I saw something like this on Twitter. I was looking at one of the J Japanese players talk about her kit just because I wanted to see what it was ahead of time before we had official translations. And yeah, I saw that the every hit lowers the action gauge. So this is pretty interesting. Um, lowering action gauge is always going to be a huge. So this is pretty solid overall. Removes all debuffs from allies. So that's pretty neat. In addition, give all green allies that have their defense 3000 or more during battle. Uh, a shield with effect of 40,000 for three turns, debuff immunity, and protection. Didn't mean to click on it for two turns. This is, she's really strong. She's probably one of the better green units in the game. You probably definitely want to pick her up if your mono green team is um, lacking any units or, uh, you know, you want to build that team in particular. I, I really like her kit. Her kit is really solid. And also, I really like this character too. Fred is really cute. Um, 40,000. I think this is the largest shield in the game for three turns. That's really big. Essentially, because it's a four turn cooldown as well. So, you have one. If you have one character that can reduce your cooldowns by at least once, so you know, you're constantly popping off this shield, uh, at least when she gets turns and stuff. So, that's, yeah, that's wow. Defense, agility. HP, 30% HP, 10% agility, 10% of defense. I want to see her stats real quick. 22,000, really, really good. The attack is whatever, but her defense and her HP are insane. She's very sustainable. Her 173 is really solid for such a support tank unit. That's pretty neat. Um, basic 50, 120, 20, 35. Increase all green allies debuff resistance by 50% pretty good uh you love to see character or color specific uh leader skills rather than game mode specific leader skills just because like they're, you'd be able to utilize better in my opinion so that's pretty nice I'm pretty sure we do have like a 50 percent uh debuff resistance for like every single color every single camp or whatever but you know they just keep coming so it's just kind of nice to have more options i guess uh she is obviously green i was right about that because you know the boss typing physical She's a melee camp. I always forget that. That's kind of huge for the memory. The memory, if a unit is melee camp, that goes for every single part of it. Debuff success rate. So that's really nice. I think this is, what, 32, 9, 9. Is that 50%? God damn. 50% debuff success rate at the beginning of, or beginning of battle, but just the general. That's nice. And then if unit is in a melee camp at the start of battle increased self action gauge by 60 percent so this is definitely one of the best memories in the game because debuff success rate to have that is really strong as well as action gauge by 60 percent 60 percent being the highest in the game at the moment i believe um and the memory itself being in a melee camp memory the most diverse widespread camp in the game the biggest easily by a landslide so you're going to be able to use this on a majority of characters in the game regardless of their physical their color or their you know magical their typing you know stuff like that it's just a melee camp and uh yeah this is one of the best memory pickups in the game for sure so yeah she she is wow she is really hard to skip i am interested to see if garf is going to be another green unit that would be cool to have them on a team together because it just makes sense, you know, lore wise, but it'd also be cool to have him on a different color. We'll have to wait and see what he is because we have yet to see anything about him. But I am looking forward to his release and seeing what they can do with both these characters put together. Hopefully, it's something unique. Wow, this is, I don't know. I really like this banner and this character. I don't have any green mono green units, but um, I'm still going to summon on Felt, <laughs> but man, I really want to summon on Fred too. It is what it is. If you have the 4.5k, that is the total amount you need in order to do the step ups. Again, I always recommend if you're going to do the banner, just do one full rotation of the step ups first. It's going to, that's obviously where you're going to get your most value. Not only you're getting one of the, your multis half off, one of your multis are going to be a guaranteed memory and you have an increased chance of the character at the very end. So it's, it's like, it's super worth again and they kind of paywall it a little bit with like the the first 50 fragments the free awakening that they usually give out for free i i bet like if we didn't have these step up banners a majority of them would 
be free to play or you've seen an ex exchange in the shop or whatever but a lot of them are just like behind the step up banner which kind of sucks but the step up banner is so worth it that i kind of don't mind it 4.5k for all of this is insane and you should definitely be doing step up banners like regardless uh if you're gonna go in for that particular character they have a step up banner like if you're not doing it you're just an idiot so we have a total of 18 days lining up with felt they, they always line up one character has like a stupid amount of time and then the other characters that come out while this banner's still up usually have the same amount of time which kind of sucks because i would like equal chance for every single character but i kind of get it no i don't i don't really get it either way that's gonna do it for the video and i'll see you guys next time later